Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Ba 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 ba. Eshe o ba ba. Eshe o ba ba. I want to be ba ba. I want to be ano ba ba. Eshe o ba ba. Eshe o ba ba. I want to be ba ba. I want to be oni ba ba. Eshe o ba ba. Eshe o ba ba. I want to be ba ba. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen. We are all welcome to today's house fellowship. Sister Kenny, can you please pray for us? Father Lord, we thank you for everything that you have done for us. Heavenly Father, take control of today's house fellowship. Amen. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Our topic of today is Pursuit of Righteousness, which can be taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 9. And uh, we are privileged to have a pastor here with us, Pastor Philip. Who is going to be a teacher? So I will leave it over to you. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Tai, Sister Kenny. I so much appreciate you for allowing me to be part of today's house fellowship. I thank you so very much. Um, in Proverbs 15:9, the Lord detests the way of the wicked, but loves those that pursue after righteousness. However, in Romans 3 verse 10, there is no one righteous. No, not one. So if we say there is no one righteous, who then can pursue after righteousness? Sister Tai, Sister Kenny. But before we pursue after righteousness, we need to define it. Righteousness also can mean justice. It can mean justness or divine holiness. In broader sense, uh, we can say it's the condition acceptable to God as approved by God. No amount of self-effort can make man righteous. The art of a righteous man is the art that bears fruit. John 15 verse 1 to 2. And if you go to Ephesians 5, 21 to 22, you will see the lists there. A common substitute for true righteousness is false righteousness. So for one to bear fruit, you have to recognize that you cannot do it in our sinful state. Bearing fruit has to do with putting on the character of Christ and doing away with our fleshly indulgence. Humility is the actual thing. Does do it bearing fruits according to Ephesians 51, verse 10. Thank you, Pastor Philip. From what I gathered from your teaching of today, you stated that true righteousness is possible for mankind. That's right. But only through the cleansing of our sin by our Lord Jesus Christ mm. and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we pray that God in his infinite mercy 
give us the strength to be righteous. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, King of glory, we thank you, precious Father, for the opportunity given to us to gather this evening. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word that you've taught us. We give you all glory without exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we need the art of righteousness, the art of true righteousness given to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Every spirit of self-righteousness, destroy it in Jesus' name. Amen. Help us to bear fruit for us to be righteous in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Almighty Father. Amen. In Jesus', Jesus. mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Jesus. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sister Kelly. Thank you. That's a much appreciated. Thank you, Pastor.